brake lines so I think we're gonna run one from each side back under the body to the uh, master cylinder which is mounted up under there so I've been a lot of tubing at work mm -hmm. but I use uh, these really nice swage lock tube benders that I will I'm gonna put a link in the description and you got your typical auto parts store tube bender here but it has a huge radius and we're using it's easy to bend brake line, it doesn't collapse very easily. And so I just made something real simple with a uh, piece of wood and a couple drill bits. So here's the tube, I bent it past 90 because we're going to have it tucked back into the frame. And then we're going to put another bend down in this area here to make it follow the frame. So here's our bent tube. Stick it in here. And tweak it just a little. So it follows the frame a little better. There we go. Got it. He did this out of Oh, okay. That's why they're, they're called pipe. You said what? Video. You're taking video? Does it have sound? Yep. You're yes, right now. Yeah, voice is sound. Everybody, this is my brother, Nathan. 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 Jason. <laughs> you might want to cut that out. <laughs> so you're this is my brother, Jason. He looks, my son, Nathan, looks just like him. See, aren't you glad I gave you the ratchet wrench now? <laughs> I gotta get this in here. This is too dark in here. It's too dark in here. Can't take the proper video. None came out. Well, this goes all came out earlier. So on this car, the uh, master cylinder is under the floor. So it makes the fireball nice and neat, but it makes working on it kind of a challenge. And this one, he has a hole cut in the floor to add fluid. This is this the factory location on this? Yes. So this is where it was on 
from the factory and my 59 Chevy pickup is very similar but there's no hole in the floor so it makes checking the fluid and adding fluid a real pain.